political incorrectness meets Christian apologetics. But this is true, the objective reality. Hello there, everybody. I was just thinking the other day, you know, it's been a long time since I did a video regarding Brian Denlinger, the crazy cult leader, King James Onlyist, who literally started his own religion recently. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to return to Brian Denlinger's YouTube channel because I don't think he's on BitChute or any alt tech platforms yet. And I'm going to go ahead and see if there's any videos of his I could potentially respond to. Well, it did not take me long to find one that definitely was worthy of TTOR commentary. So the video that we'll be looking at today is a video that Brian put out on June 6, 2019, so a little over a year ago, titled, Why is Steven Anderson Still on YouTube? a video that has over 6,400 views, which is not too bad considering that Brian has over 36,000 subscribers now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play this entire video since it's only 3 minutes and 39 seconds long, and I'm going to stop at various points to offer my commentary. So with that being said, let's let a roll. Question. Why is Steven Anderson still on YouTube? Um... I mean, it's been coming out recently here that he has been banned in over 30 countries now um, for two main things, for his hatred of the LGBT community and his denial of the Holocaust. And yet, I come here to the office today, I check my email, YouTube has removed my video where I'm defending the Holocaust and exposing the fact that Steven Anderson is a Holocaust denier. How does that make any sense at all? Well, I'll tell you exactly how it makes sense, Brian. You see, YouTube allows a lot of AI systems to actually do the site curation or the censorship, if you will. And basically, if you have the wrong words or phrases in your title or video description box or in the auto transcript that is automatically created for your video every time you upload it to your YouTube channel, well, if that naughty word or phrase is used in your video or in your video title, well, the AI systems of YouTube will be triggered and your video will get removed or censored in some way. And since you had Holocaust denial in the title of your video, I'm not surprised that a YouTube removed your video from your channel because having the phrase Holocaust denial in the title of your video is going to get the I'm just looking at um, socialblade.com again. Uh, he's been buying more subscribers. That's up to him. It's his money. I say that every time. It's the truth. He does what he wants with his money. He hasn't had any new subscribers since. For well, that big drop there, he lost 56 subscribers. July 15th to July 22nd last year. All of these since then have been bought by Brian. That's at least 15 months, 16 months ago. He hasn't had any new subscribers since then. All bought and paid for. Now then, I'm just going to pause this again and go to another video. Here's a video done by Book of Relief, Phil, I think his name is. Howdy, brethren. Um, I don't Back here looking at again. Jacob Thompson's abominable book, The Lord of Glory. And, but, and I have been this, discussing the book Jacob with... Jacob Thompson's uh, book is an abomination. He, he actually thinks... 
he's written a definitive guide to who God is. I'm thinking that Jacob's new book is going to be Denlinger's new Bible or something. I don't know what, what the game is with that. I've no intention of buying it, by the way. I'm not throwing... Th I mean, I don't think the book costs $30 for a PDF, but I'm not putting 10 or $20 in uh, Jacob Thompson's pocket. Not a chance. I mean, why Brian uh, plugged it on his YouTube channel, I don't know. I just do not know. Um, and a Campbell KJV with his uh, skin suit doctrine. Where on earth does he get that? What an absolute fool. Totally disgusting. Battle against sin. You need to you need to join in the battle then. Just looking for a video where he comes out with that. Reason together. You can't reason, mister. Just trying to find that video again that he did. Don't worry, uh, Brad, I've got the... Uh, I downloaded it. Oh well, I can't find it. Has he deleted it? I don't know. Let's go to my channel then. Let's go. Let's listen to more of this. The AI systems of YouTube triggered and they're going to remove your video especially when in the last couple of years, YouTube has put out multiple blog posts saying that they're going to heavily censor topics such as flat earth and Holocaust denialism. That's why your video got removed from YouTube, Brian Denlinger. It's because of the topic you were covering. It doesn't matter that you reject Holocaust denialism and that you were exposing Steven Anderson for falsely teaching that the Holocaust never happened. That doesn't matter. The simple fact that you talked about the topic was enough to get your video removed. You see, YouTube's AI systems do not understand nuance or context. It can't understand whether someone is saying that Holocaust denialism is true or false. Just simply talking about the topic gets you banned because of the words being used. With that being said, let's roll through the rest of this video. And I've heard anti-Semitic people, and they'll, they'll call YouTube Jewtube. Uh, okay, how does that work then? I come out with a video defending the Holocaust, saying that the Holocaust actually happened, and showing images. I guess the images were too graphic or something. But I got the images off of YouTube, you know, videos. Okay. But, you know, I come out and defend the Holocaust. My video gets taken down, exposing Stephen Anderson for the rabid anti-Semitic, you know, little hate guy that he is and yet oh once again brian that's because you don't understand how youtube censorship works you see i've been part of the alternative media for a few years now and i keep up to date on youtube's blogs whenever they start censoring people and they announce it ahead of time or they announce it after the fact if you actually bothered to follow the alternative media that covers youtube censorship you would have figured out why YouTube took down your video. It's pretty easy. This just shows that you actually don't know what's going on out there in the world, and you're just in your little Denlingerism bubble over there doing what you do. You need to wake up and start following the alternative media, Brian Denlinger, if you want to understand YouTube censorship. Is Steven Anderson still here on YouTube? 
he comes out and he uses Nazi propaganda from the Jews and their lies. Uh, the film excerpts from that in his video, Marching to Zion. And he's still here. He's been banned in over 30 countries, many times because of his Holocaust denial. And yet he's still on, quote unquote, liberal YouTube. How does that work? Now, at this point in the video, you might be thinking to yourself like I did. He's complaining that Steven Anderson has been banned from more than 30 countries because of the things that he says in his YouTube videos, and yet YouTube hasn't deleted him yet. You see, what Brian is implying is that if YouTube was consistent, they would actually ban Steven Anderson from their platform. YouTube would say, well, Steven Anderson has been banned from over 30 countries because of the videos he uploads to our platform. Maybe we should just kick him off. He doesn't say it outright in this video, but Brian Denlinger does imply that he would like to see Steven Anderson get kicked off of YouTube by YouTube. He doesn't say it, but you know that's what someone like Brian Denlinger would love to see. Anyway, let's continue on with the video. How in the world does that work? I just don't understand that. And I've had a lot of people contact me and things and say, you know, we're glad for you attacking Stephen Anderson and exposing him. And I have for many, many years. And I will continue to do so because he's very, very evil. Satan has raised him up to try and make Bible-believing Christians like myself look bad. I hold... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, the reason why YouTube won't kick Stephen Anderson off their platform is because they want him to make Bible believing Christians like Brian Denlinger look bad. Buddy, we don't need Stephen Anderson to look at you and conclude that you are a heretic, wingnut, false teacher, and cult leader. We don't need Stephen Anderson to do that, pal. We can come to that conclusion about you all on our own just by looking at you. For example, I have my Brian Denlinger Cult Leader Evidence playlist on my channel. Only three videos so far, but if you watch the videos, you'll see Brian Denlinger claim that all churches are corrupt and that all churchgoers are apostates, which is exactly what Joseph Smith taught when he started his cult called Mormonism. You see, Brian Denlinger claimed that if he was a cult leader trying to elevate his name, he would put his name in the channel name of his YouTube channel instead of whatever his channel name was at the time, which was a, named after a chainsaw. But then several months after he said that, he went on to change his YouTube channel name to put his name in his YouTube channel, which he said is what he would do if he was a cult leader trying to elevate his name. And then, of course, there was the time where Brian Denlinger claimed that God the Father was not in heaven while Jesus was walking around on the earth in the first century, even though there are two different instances in the book of Matthew where Jesus flat out said that God the Father was in heaven while he was walking around on the earth in the first century. So Brian Denlinger is a crazy wingnut heretic cult leader Jacob Thompson has bought some more subscribers in the last week or so. Again, that's up to him. He's been buying subscribers since, I would say, March this year. If you look at all these, all even numbers. Very small amount of subscribers in comparison to Brian or Robert Breaker. I don't, I don't see why he needs to do it. Oh, hold on. Because he hasn't had any new subscribers in five or six months. That's probably why. Oh, well. Here we go again. On his own, we don't need Steven Anderson to come to that conclusion. No. But let's go on, Brian. With the King James Bible. And Steven Anderson, I'll tell you right now, if you are lost and you're watching this, if you're not a Christian, if you don't understand things, Steven Anderson, what he teaches and preaches is contrary to what's in this King James Bible. He is non-dispensational, which is very, very wrong, very wicked. 
Um, and, and, I mean, I could just go on. He teaches that Jesus burned in hell. That's another crazy one. He says that there should be a righteous government today that puts not only homosexuals, LGBT people to death, but also people that commit adultery. I am aware of what a crazy wingnut heretic Stephen Anderson is in his own right, Brian Denlinger. I have a Stephen Anderson exposed list on my BitChute channel. And if you go down the list, it's not a very pretty sight. We have the video from December 2018 where Stephen Anderson actually claimed that NIV Bible users are not saved. I have a video debunking Stephen Anderson's promotion of replacement theology. I have another video where Stephen Anderson appealed to a New York Times article to justify his begging the question fallacy when he claims that the King James Bible is the standard by which we should judge all other English translations of the Bible. And I have a video responding to the time where Stephen Anderson actually rejected the idea of God being omnipresent. So yes, Brian, we're aware of all the crazy, weird, bizarre things that Stephen Anderson teaches. But just because he's a crazy wingnut heretic doesn't mean that you aren't. You're just as crazy. You're just as much of a wingnut. You're just as much of a heretic as Stephen Anderson is. But please, by all means, continue talking. And yet his parents are divorced. But he doesn't call for their death. Nice, isn't it? Oh, and he's against the LGBT, but yet he works, his film producer, Paul Wittenberger, worked in Hollywood on a film crew for the Itty Bitty Titty Committee, I think is what the name was called. It was a lesbian film. And it, Paul Witt Yes, Brian, we're aware that Stephen Anderson has some obvious hypocrisy in his ministry and teachings, but so do you, pal. You claim that you believe whatever the King James Bible says and yet you reject clear teachings of not only the King James Bible, but every modern and reliable translation of the Bible. The when it comes reliable. to the doctrine of the Trinity, the Bible clearly teaches the concept. It teaches that God <coughs> the Son, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit are three different persons with one divine nature, and the Bible flat out says that if you deny that Jesus is the Son, then you're an antichrist. Which, by the way, you did that in 2017 on your channel, Brian Denlinger. You claimed that Jesus was God the Father, and you said that he was not God the Son, and you challenged anyone who believes that Jesus is God the Son to produce a passage in the Bible where Jesus says the exact words, I am God the Son, the exact words criterion that Muslims use all the time against Christians. So your hypocrisy, Brian Denlinger, is that you claim that you believe whatever the King James Bible says, and yet you... Well, Jesus does say whoever's seen me has seen the Father. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Jesus is the Lord. Well, I'll have to excuse the background noise. I think I'm going to end this here. Sinners to repentance... He's still buying YouTube views. Very minimal amount, really. Ten here and there. No big deal, you know, but why? What's the necessity? Obviously, it's because he's getting no new subscribers. Anyway, I'm going to close this.
Right, so where is this skin suit, Brad? The soul of the skin suit, the body, the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ, okay? The soul of the skin suit, the <coughs> body, the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ, okay? Where's this the in soul, scripture? Skin suit? God the Father. The soul of the skin suit, the body, the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ, okay? The soul, God the Father. Okay. What's within you in this sagging skin suit? So you're in a skin suit as well, are you? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? What are you saying about Jesus Christ? For ye uh, are the temple of the living God. Where is this? <laughs> where is this in Scripture? As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. The soul of the skin suit, the body, the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus. The soul of the skin suit, the body, the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. The soul. God the Father. The soul of the skin suit, the body. Right. Can somebody explain or give me the context of this, what he's saying, this heretic blasphemer? 982 on YouTube, Justin told John Craig, and that it, I mean, because he'd done a video on this as well, um, that it was taken out of context, so now I want to know what the context is. He even told John to move on. What cheek. And he's a Calvinist as well, 982, reading his testimony on his channel, so-called testimony. I'm going to end this in a minute. The soul of the skin suit, the body, the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Right, this video is called Pray That You May Be Found Worthy. It's on Accountable KJV's channel. Look, that phrase is at 10 minutes 56. Why not watch all the way up to it from the beginning and a couple of minutes after? He mentions skin six times. Uh, sagging skin suit at 29 minutes 50. Oh, it's buffering on me. Your flesh, you know, the sagging skin suit. And, oh. Yeah, the skin suit, is it? Right. And I'm amazed at unashamed workmen here. I mean, he did a long... I mean, he, I mean he, paragraph is a useful word, and it's a useful thing to use. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm amazed at you, unashamed workmen, although I'm not sure why, do I? never seen you doing much anywhere around YouTube, except... Uh, well, nothing really. You make the odd useful comment that I used to do months and months ago. So, any of you dinglingers can tell me where this skin suit thing comes from. Show me in God's word.